Who is St. Anthony of Padua? I think I know, you may think. He's the man who finds lost things for me. Oh no, he obtains cures. He gives me favors from heaven. But do you know who is the real St. Anthony of Padua? Did you know that this man, his life, the title, Ark of the Covenant, at the same time, the hammer of the heretics? Do you know that he is a patron saint of the armed forces? Did you know he was considered one of the greatest experts in the sacred scripture at his time? Who is the real St. Anthony of Padua? Stay with me to find out. St. Anthony of Padua was one of the greatest saints in the history of the church. At his time, he was one of the pillars who helped the church to withstand its adversities so that the church would continue on and reach our times. As a young man, he was taken up with zeal for martyrdom. The reason why St. Anthony of Padua entered the Franciscan order was such was the love that he had for the church that he wanted to give his blood and die as a martyr for the faith. And the Franciscans said that if he would enter their order, they would give him an opportunity to go to a land far away a land of missions, where he may probably receive the grace of martyrdom. However, it was not God's will. Circumstances forced him to come back to Europe, to Christian Europe, and he resigned himself to God's will. What was his plan? What was his desire? What did he desire to do once in Europe? He wanted to become a hermit. Since he could not go preach far away, since he could not undertake dangers, he wanted to leave a life of recollection, of peace. But he was an exemplary religious. When St. Francis of Assis gave him an order in the name of holy obedience for him to be a preacher, for him to teach people, for him to combat the heresies, he accepted in all humility. Because this is true humility. A man who was not truly humble but had false humility would have said, No, poor me, I cannot preach, I cannot shine. No. When he knew that it was the will of God, for him to preach, for him to go out and convert people, he accepted, becoming one of the most famous men of his century out of humility. As a preacher, he was extremely successful, but even more so was he as a man who would combat the heresies. In fact, God would help him in a very, very surprising way. First, he would go, approach the heretic and show through reason, through doctrine and through the sacred scripture that the Catholic Church was right and the heresy was wrong. And then God would help him. He would work a spectacular miracle and prove to everybody that what he said was true. In fact, both these things always went together in his life. Doctrine and miracles, working together to convert souls and to destroy heresies. In his life, there were two principal virtues that shone. The first one was his deep love of contemplation, of doctrine, of love for sacred scripture because he knew by heart many of the most important parts of the Holy Bible, since he was able to comment them, as almost nobody else was able to do in his time and nobody has done ever since, he received the title of the Ark of the Covenant because enclosed in his heart was all the miracles, were all the marvels of the church history and church doctrine. At the same time, the intransigence he had against evil the intransigence he had against all that would go against the church doctrine made him extremely combative against evil. And this earned for him the title, Hammer of Heretics. In fact, such was his combativity that even after his death, many people in situations where they had to fight against evil started having recourse to him, which is why over time he became the patron saint of the armed forces. Whenever somebody would go through a war or a battle to defend that what is good against an evil force, whenever somebody such would recur to him, have intercourse to him, he always helped these people. For example, once in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, there was a case of Protestant Calvinists who started invading the port of Rio de Janeiro. The local authorities, Catholics, had to defend themselves, but they realized that they were not ready for this battle. They did not have enough troops, enough money, enough forces. Things were very grim. Then one of them had a very bright idea, an inspiration of grace to be exact. He placed an image of St. Anthony, a statue of St. Anthony in the town square. Immediately afterwards, the situation changed. Many young men enlisted in the battle to fight for the fight in the battle. They received help, they received arms, and 
when the invasion took place, they were able to resist heroically and they won the battle. It is very probable that if it was not for this act of having placed the statue of St. Anthony in the town square, things would have turned out very differently. But this is just one of the cases. There are other cases as well where he has intervened miraculously in the middle of battles to save lives, to destroy evil. Now, let me ask you a question. Why does a Christian study the life of a saint? Why do we read books about saints? Why do we admire saints? Because their example moves our lives. They teach us the right way to go to heaven. Looking at them, we know what to do to get to God. But this has a condition. For me to admire a saint, for me to learn through a saint how to go to heaven, I have to know him as he really was. If I transform the saint according to my whims and my fancies, it's useless. I'm not loving a saint. I'm not studying about a saint. I'm studying about somebody I imagine. For me to use a saint, to use the help of a saint to go to heaven, I have to love him and admire him as he really was. And thus, if we have real devotion to St. Anthony, if we desire his help to go to heaven, then we ought to know his life as he really was, love him as he really was, and pray to him, understanding how his life was in reality. So now that we know about St. Anthony, let us have more devotion to him, let us pray to him, and let us ask his help for us to go to heaven. Salve Maria! If you enjoyed this video, tell your friends, hit the subscribe button, and leave us a comment.